Welcome to Rock Cake and Rudabex's Power Gamer's Guide to Minecraft. What we're going to do here is we're going to take you through some various tips and tricks that will help you play Minecraft to the ultimate effectiveness. Here I am generating a new world and with this I am going to show you how to get down to the center of the world as quickly as possible. First thing you want to do, of course, is get your wood. Now that we've got some wood, we'll look around for an area where we can see coal exposed. And that is where we're going to start digging. Now of course we're using absolutely no mods on this because it wouldn't be much of a power gamer's guide if everything was set up to be easy. Ah, there's some coal right there. Fantastic. Now something very important to remember while you're mining this coal at first is to get some cobblestone as well because it is a colossal waste of time to have to build another wooden pick so yeah right away I'm just going to start building down grabbing as much stone as I can. It's getting pretty dark down here though. So of course we'll just make some torches. Now when you're going down you'll need about four or five picks. I always bring a few shovels with me as well because you invariably encounter dirt. That right there should be all that you need. So, down we go. And try and keep the uh, your inventory bar very clean of uh, just random items that are going to pop up. So 
It's always good to have one dirt square in there though. Just in case you have to block off a lava flow. Torch in here, a torch in there. Yes, we realize this is scary monster time. Oh. Just gather that iron because you are going to need it a little bit later on. Try not to get too distracted by resources on your way down. Another important thing, because there's going to be monsters, try not to leave where you're digging open because they will fall on your head. Oh, looks like we found another wide open space. I haven't heard any monsters grumbling at us yet, but there you go. Now you have three. That's enough to make an iron pick. Which is good for all those valuable resources you're going to find down at the center of the earth. So, well, once again, block that off. Leave a little window, I guess. It's always nice to find a bit of dirt on the way down. Makes the digging that much easier. And it's easy to just get distracted by all the uh, caves that you'll find, resources, whatnot. But the thing you have to remember is that well, those resources are still going to be there. And there's going to be diamond and other resources down at the bottom that are much more rare and much more valuable. And once again we come to a large open space. <laughs> yeah, lava. Now, what you will hear from... Oh, there's some gold, too. What you'll hear from many different Minecraft players, of course, is that, you know, lava sucks. And that's true. It can be very useful, but it also sucks when you happen to fall into it and it destroys all of your hard earned resources. We're trying not to have that happen. <laughs> there we go. Build up a bit of a barricade. And we continue down. And we find another cave. Now, I mean, you can find cave systems that will literally just carry you all the way down. And there's some redstone right there. Um, and that's great, but usually you'll have to fight all the monsters on the way down, so... It's best just to get your base established, and then come back and deal with these areas later. And there's some lava. change in direction. And there's some more lava. 
Huh. Now, one of the places you're going to find lakes of lava like that, of course, right at the center of the world. So, you must be getting pretty close. And that's why sometimes people will tell you not to dig, dig straight down. I agree. That's a terrible idea, because if you're standing on top of the block and it disappears and there's lava underneath you, well, enough said. There's bedrock. There we go. Took me about ten minutes to get coal and get down here. Now we also know that this area has lava around it, so let's be careful when we're excavating our base down here. Because, as I said, you don't want to lose all the resources you just gave it. Same thing goes, though, for don't dig down, is don't dig up. Because if there's lava above you, it's still going to destroy you as it falls on your head. Let's get a torch down here. It is good to know where the uh, lava is hiding, though. Because you can use it to build a portal to the nether. I believe that is what uh, Rudevex might be doing on our next Let's Play. Yeah. There you go. A couple more torches up. chest. Just a half chest right now. Then we will also build an oven. Some people will build more than one oven. No, actually. I, uh, I don't really see the need unless you have a lot of resources. As soon as you have, you're processing a large number of resources, then yeah you want to uh, you want to get more than one oven because then you can get gold in one iron in another and that say is that. Build a few replacement picks for the mining you're going to do down here. You've still got your shovels. Yeah, and I only used about three picks going down, so that's, that's pretty good conservation. Since we know that the lava's down here, put any goodies we have. That was a good idea to outfit yourself with a bit of an adventure kit. A couple axes, shovels, whatnot. Oh yes, and of course, swords. Because the baddies will get you. Alright. So I am going to stop the video now and turn things over to Rudimix.